welcome back to Mom Likely. Today we're going to be going over my cleaning supplies inventory list for 2020. So today I'm going to be going over with you what I'm using on a daily basis, what I'm using on like tough jobs and stuff, and then what I'm going to be trying this year in 2020. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe and like this video if you do. You guys really seem to have liked this video last year when I did it in 2019. So I'm just doing it again this year, especially because I'm trying a couple of new things not much um, pretty much everything stuck from last year except I downgraded a lot of things um, that I just had on hand because I'm gonna be doing my pantry over and so I just wanna make sure I'm really only having the essentials that I love to use um, and things that I know that are gonna be necessary okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into what I got um, at the very end I'm gonna show you the supplies which is like um, which mops and brooms and things like that that I like to use I'll show you guys those at the end so I'm going to start right here with number one. I use microfiber cloths now for cleaning everything. This is just a bucket I got from um, Dollar Tree. And actually all of these towels are from Dollar Tree. There's one big size towel and then little microfiber cloths. I always buy my microfiber cloths from there now. Um, and I usually pick up a couple extra packs here and there. You can get two for a dollar. They're great for cleaning. And I don't use paper towels anywhere to clean now except at my toilet. Next up. Um, on that note, I'll show you what I use on a regular basis to clean. And what I like to clean with on a regular basis is Method Cleaning Products. Totally not sponsored. Nothing in this video is sponsored. However, if I had a dream collaboration that I would love to do, it would be to work with Method. I have, you guys, if you watch my videos all year and a little bit before that, I've used Method consistently throughout my videos all year because it's an actual product that I love. So this, um, this line, I just love it. I don't know. <laughs> So it's my favorite line. So I have all their stuff. My favorite one is this one. This is my absolute favorite one. If I had to just pick one, it would be this one right here. It's my favorite scent, and I love how it works. Um, this one you leave on for like 5 or 10 minutes too, and it also sanitizes. But So I use this for glass here, which is the Method Peppermint. I'm still using that this year. I use the bamboo for like disinfecting and sanitizing. And then I'm also loving um, still the grapefruit by Method. Um, I, I stopped using the apple cider one because I realized that um, it was leaving like a smell on my wood when I would use it there or like on my countertops and I just really didn't like that. So I stopped using that one. But these ones don't leave any residues on my stuff but except the apple one, apple crisp. Um, the next one is the squirt mop. And I like using this one because I have vinyl floors, and this is the one that's good on um, pretty much all the surfaces, but this one's made for, like, flooring that isn't wood, but they do have a wood one, too, if you want to get that. I use that for my floors. I just did a, a product haul, so that's why those bottles are all full. <clears throat> um, next up, I have my Lysol floor solution. This is my other favorite one that I like to use if I'm not using the non-toxic floor cleaner. I really love using this Lysol one for sanitizing. Since we have Connor now, I don't use it as much, but this just makes the house smell so great. And it really helps me to feel like the floor is getting sanitized when I use it because, um, you know, it has like the, the really harsh stuff in it. So I love this one, but it smells so good. You have to smell this. Um, so those are all my favorite products to use on a daily basis, as well as this is always the dish soap that I buy. I always buy the palm olive dish soap with the antibacterial in it um, just because I only ever use dish soap for like little random things and to wash my pots and pans so I always get the one with the antibac in it and it's a huge bottle that I can fill my soap container with. Next to that from Dollar Tree I get these rubber gloves. Now I only use these when I'm using harsh cleaning products and then Savannah she's really picky when she does the dishes she doesn't want to touch them so she throws these on when she does the dishes as well. Um, I guess I should also know where I get all these cleaning products from. I predominantly just shop at Meijer, and then um, Target carries a good line of the Method stuff too. Those are the two places that I do, but you can also order online, and they have them at like Walgreens. Walmart does not carry this line at all, I know that, um, but every, everywhere else you can pretty much find it. Next up for dishes, I use this Cascade Platinum brand right here. Now, I really like this one. It's more pricey, but I get this 62 count one right here. And even doing the dishes like once a day, this still lasts me for like a couple months at a time, you know, because there's 60 in there. So if I run the dishwasher once a day, this is a two month supply. And I think it's like 16 or 17 bucks for this. Um, and usually when I do cleaning supplies, 
product hauls and stuff, I use my like shopping rewards from um, Meyer, my M perks, and it usually helps me build up money for the month. So at some point, I'll end up getting something for free at the end of the month because I'll get cash back. Um, so that's what I use for my dishes. Um, okay, and so moving on now, we'll go to. Let's do the bathroom real quick. So besides all those products that I use in the bathroom, I really like to use um, this Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. I prefer the one without the hydrogen peroxide because I don't like the way that this one smells, but it does clean good, so I just always have one of these on hand. And then also for the bathroom, like I have this right here. You guys are always asking me, what's in that blue bottle? And so this is like... You see how it like moves around and gets messy? That's just the vinegar mixing in with the Dawn Blue. If you just have only these two things, you can clean your entire house, literally. I only have the rest of this stuff for like, because I can, you know what I mean? Because it makes me motivated to clean. But if you are really looking for cheap options, this right here and some baking soda alone can clean your entire house. Um, but if you heat up your vinegar for one minute in the microwave and then you add a couple of squirts of this to the mixture and mix it up, you can spray that on your tub and it will cut through so much grime. It doesn't matter how long it's been there. It will cut through it so quickly if you just need a cheap option. This is literally a $2 solution. Um, so yeah, I just have this in this bottle right here because I use this to clean up after the dog sometimes if he has a peeing accident and I also use this on my walls in the bathroom when I clean them. Now moving on to, um, let's see, let's do the laundry real quick because there's only a couple of those. <clears throat> okay, so for my laundry, I like to use this Dollar Tree Awesome Spray. Now I'm still using this. I had so many suggestions for when I asked for stain removers. But when I put this on there now, as long as you let it sit for a couple minutes or you give it like a really saturated spray before throwing it in the wash, it will get out so much dirt and grime and it's only $1 from Dollar Tree. So this is also an affordable option to keep in your cleaning arsenal if you need for like stains and grime as well as um, it gives you dilution, um, what is it called, ratios and stuff on the back of here, how to clean like multiple of other things around the house and a lot of different materials. So this is another really good option. Um, that you could keep on hand. As far as my laundry detergent goes, I really love to use Arm & Hammer or Purex. Um, however, um, those are my two favorite ones. I really love Purex just because it's such an affordable option, but I also really like Arm & Hammer because it's also one that I can use that's scented that doesn't really bother our skin too much. So I love both of those, but I have been using my DIY laundry detergent, which I made and then I added Tide to it. Um, I made a five gallon bucket and it's lasted me about like two months so far. Um, and I use on average between 5 to 10 loads per week. So that's holding up really well for as far as laundry detergent. And as far as like what I add to my laundry, I don't like to really use um, too much fragrance, like fragrance things. Also pay attention like if you're um, watching this because you don't know what to use. If you're having issues with your sensitive skin and your laundry detergent, make sure that you're getting um, not one that's just sensitive, but it needs to be fragrance and dye free because they do add a fragrance to mask fragrances in all products if you see that it's like scent free or no scent. It's usually just another fragrance on top of it to mask it. So always get fragrance free if that's something that you're running into that's an issue. But as far as what I put in my laundry for fragrance, I also use Snuggle sometimes on stuff. And I really only use like maybe a tablespoon per load. It's really not a lot at all. It's just enough to keep like the static down because I don't use dryer sheets. And then it gives it that smell. And I really love to smell it when I'm doing laundry too. And then as far as sanitizing laundry, I use this one. And then with this one right here, I put this in with like my towels. Um, blankets and stuff like that anything that needs to be sanitized this comes in new scents now too they also have a sport edition if you want to wash your gym clothes and stuff and then next up for scents I use these downy unstoppables I'm missing the lid to it that's the cat but you know it's those little scent beads in there um, so I just put a little bit of these in also just like a few little dabs just to create some fragrance so things are smelling cleaner um, and so that's all that I use for laundry. Also, just as like another little bonus tip, you can use these Downy Unstoppables and make your own fabric softener. However, I just, the price of these is so high, I just wouldn't want to do. I just like adding these in there for, you know, a little jazz in there. Um, and then you can also use these to make your own homemade Febreze, which is really great for like your bed and your linens. Uh, I mean, your linens and your curtains, it does work really well and it will last on there. 
um, but they just are an expensive option. But you could literally fill like a huge bottle like this and you won't even use all these so that you can have it throughout your house to Febreze before guests or, you know, just um, lift your mood from the scent too. So that's really cool. I know Trash Bag Love is going to love this one. <laughs> so you have to stop driving me crazy in the comments. Blowing up my email and stuff like that is just not cool. I don't want to create any issues. I'm just calling you out right now because you keep asking for a shout out and stuff. So I don't mind sharing this stuff with you, but I do try to get to every single comment. But sometimes it takes time. Sometimes I'll start and walk away and have to come back later. So relax. I haven't forgotten about you, and I am showing you what I got like I said I would. So as far as the Boulder trash bags are concerned, these are the ones that I usually buy from Aldi. So I have the black ones, and then I have, wait, is this even the black ones? Yeah, so I have the black ones in here, and then I also have like the regular size drawstring bags, and I have the mini trash bag ones. So I haven't really used these as much because my new trash bags, um, I mean my new trash cans that I got for the bedrooms and the bathroom, they have like another little insert in the inside, so I can actually just fill it up, empty it, and then like wash those out as I go, which is great for like reducing my, you know, trash and what have you. I'm trying to get more like reusable um, products on board here. Okay, let me switch my battery. Okay, so now I'm moving on. Let me go in to tell you guys what I'm going to be trying this year for cleaning. Um, I Selma also did a video like this, and I watched hers, and like everyone's always going on about how she's really good at cleaning her oven. And I watched a video, and she got it like spotless. So I'm trying to get on that level this year with my oven because that is one of like my worst spots ever. Um, so if you have this, what is this? So I guess I should say, I'll start with this one. So I bought this Easy Off. It's a very heavy-duty toxic cleaner, but it says fume-free. Um, but like I said, they just, I don't know why it's fume-free. It's scented. But anyway, so I bought this one to try to cut through and get my oven to shine and make it really clean at first. And then I'm going to be going in and trying her method, which is using the cleaning vinegar here from Dollar Tree. I actually, there's a lot missing because I sprayed up one of my empty bottles with this already um, just to have it in there. So it's that same awesome brand as that like laundry stain stuff that I showed to you and um, it's supposed to be you can use it like wherever and it's streak free. So I got that and she's going on and raving about the Brillo Basics. Now I've never used these before so I'm trying these. So I never used these before so I'm trying these on the oven to see if I like those. I really like using my stainless steel scrubbers when I do my pots and pans. Um, but this might even be a great option for those too. And this one, I believe, is from Dollar Tree. And I think it's the 8-pack from Dollar Tree. So I got these products to try. And then also this year, I tried this one because I clean non-toxic in the entire house. I don't use any bleach products except in my toilet. And so, but I did get this when we all got the flu because I wasn't having it. I was done. <laughs> but this is all-purpose bleach cleaner. Ooh. It just has like all the like um, chemicals in it and stuff so that it kills all the cold and flu viruses when it was that time of the year. And so I just was using this on my surfaces and stuff like that. The only reason why I didn't like this product is because it's super harsh. And so I sprayed this on my toilet and my toilet bowl lid and it was literally peeling the coloring off of my toilet. And like that's how those toilets get to where they're like really dry, rough surfaces. And like they're kind of really hard to clean. It's because these kind of products are taking... Their, um, their protective coatings off of those types of things. So you don't need to clean your whole toilet and sanitize. You just need a surface clean on those things. So that's why I don't like using harsh chemicals. And I just use this like if there's something floating around here, somebody's sick, or like I just want to sanitize the house. That's really all I'm using this for. Or I spray it in my sink when I'm done cleaning, and it helps kill any germs in there. But other than that, I'm just a non-toxic cleaning person. Okay, so moving on. I have one product that I stopped using this year, which I'll include, which is this stainless steel spray. And I think it still works really good. I just don't like it as much because now I use the same brand but of the wipes. And these work pretty good. I think these leave some type of coating on the stainless that's really nice. You have to buff it off though. However, I have been using the method glass cleaner for all my stainless steel. It makes it super simple, super quick. I don't have to buff this off. I just spray it on, wipe it down. It predominantly works the best with paper towels or like a really dry rag, but that way I don't have to use these and go behind it with paper towel like I was doing before. 
So I'm using um, the glass cleaner now. Now the last thing that I'm going to be showing with you today as far as like what are the products. I'm still going to show you my supplies at the very end. But um, as far as the products go, um, number one, I'll start with these. I'm considering Young Living. Let me know your guys' like, opinion on those or something that's maybe similar. Um, I'm kind of getting more into wanting to make some stuff with essential oils. And I really like diffusing. So or diffusing. So my favorite ones are lavender and peppermint. I just have these ones on hand that came with my diffusers. So I have lavender and peppermint, eucalyptus, which I really like if I'm stuffy, um, sweet orange, and then this is something new. It's geranium. So I really like these. Now essential oils are not all safe for dogs, so make sure that these aren't near where your dogs are getting where they can ingest them. That's the most dangerous part is if they're like on the floor where they can lick them and stuff like that. That's what makes them really hazardous to dogs. However, I did find that lavender is the one that is safe to use on dogs. And so that's why I, anytime you guys see me spraying inside the dog cage, I'm actually using a mixture of water, witch hazel, mixed in with like a bunch of drops of lavender oil. And so that helps freshen all that up. And the witch hazel is kind of like an alcohol base, except it's more safe. And so that's what I usually spray on the dog. You can use it, spray them on it, on the dog as perfume, or like I just spray his like pillows and stuff like that throughout the week with it. So lavender is like the number one thing that I use as far as like cleaning or if I put it in like laundry detergent, anything with fragrance that I add is usually lavender or peppermint. And then the rest of these I just kind of been diffusing for fragrance. But yeah, I want to try Young Living because I found that there's like a bunch of really cool fragrances that you can do with these that aren't just your typical fragrances. Like people make blends. So it would be kind of cool to smell those because I do like different scented stuff, um, but you know, I just, I don't know how to do that, but I like to get into it. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to be sharing with you guys is just like my grime and tough, like tough spot products. So number one is Goof Off. So anytime you can't get the sticker or a label off of something, off of like anything plastic or whatever, you can use this and it gets it off so good. The number one tough spot for me was like on my Sterilite containers, getting the labels off those will leave a residue. This came in handy for that, so <laughs> make sure you get you some of that. Next up, I love the Super Clean Foaming Spray. This works really good on lots of different stuff, but I really love Super Clean in the car. I like how it cuts through the grime in the car, and also it gets stains out of the carpet. So try that. I have Barkeeper's Friend. And if you don't have a can of this in your cleaning arsenal, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how long it's taking you to clean or what you're cleaning, but you need this, okay? <laughs> this is like the number one thing. Like these pictures are the truth. Like they really don't lie. It really does work like this. And that's why you don't see me with like a really dirty tub. And that's because this really does keep it clean. Like there's, this just can't happen if you're using this, you know what I'm saying? And this is really cheap too. It's like probably two or three bucks for a can really doesn't take um, that much to use to clean and it will just especially or if you have like a country white sink like I do this makes it so clean and cleans rust and hair dye from the bottom of your tubs and sinks and stuff like that so try this out and if you do use that product my recommendation that I do personally is I love to pair that with magic eraser so magic erasers if you pair that with anything they clean good but these two together are like a powerhouse jam in your tub. Like, it will get the grime off of whatever. You gotta make sure it's wet. I guess I'll also plug you guys here on these. I'll have these linked in my Amazon store below, as well as any other products that you see here that you want to try. If I can find them where they're not at a bulk price, because I run into that a lot on Amazon. But if I can find them where I can link them for you guys to try, I'll definitely do that. And these are really expensive at the store, but this is a different brand of them. Like, what are these called? Something with the M. It's some kind of special sponge material. But you can literally get like a 20 pack of these for like $8 on Amazon. So make sure you get these and not use the magic erasers like from the brand because they're just too expensive. Next up, I guess I'll go on to um, just this one product here I have on hand still. It's called Tough Stuff. And the only reason why I have this is because you can use this on your vehicle upholstery um, and you can also use this on your purses and stuff. Now, I don't really have much to clean, but if you have something that won't go into the wash or whatever, you can spot clean with this in a microfiber cloth on all your purses that are like fabric and it'll get it out. 
Uh, the last spray that I have actually is this one that's missing the label, but um, this is the Wood for Good Method Cleaner. And anytime you guys see me clean my cabinets or table and stuff, I'm usually using this, and it just makes it so shiny. I love it so much. And then I also have the Women's Wipes yet again. Now, I really like these ones for the leather. I think they work really good, and they smell really good, too, and the oil doesn't last long. When I first used them, I was a little bit hesitant, but they do work really well, especially if you have pets that you allow on your um, couch and stuff. This helps to keep it conditioned and stuff, so I need to start using these more on, like, every two-day basis, but I really like these. And the last new product that I have here are just these Method All-Purpose Wipes. I'm not going to lie. I only bought this because I was doing my little Valentine setup on my uh, table I mean on my countertop and I really just wanted this up there because it was pink also the grapefruit is my favorite um, multi-purpose one so this is the grapefruit scent so I'm just having these on hand to try as well as I can just have the kids grab these to clean up a mess and they won't need like a microfiber they won't need to use like a napkin or whatever in spray they can just grab these as like a one and done and it's non-toxic so I'm gonna try this but I really only have it up there because I think it's just so cute <laughs> Okay, and so that's all the products. So let me go on now and show you the supplies that I use. Alrighty, so first up is just this little feather duster here. I got this from Dollar Tree. I just use this to like surface clean any like small areas around my TV and stuff like that when I need to dust. I also got this one from Dollar Tree, and this is the bigger version. It's broken, but it still works really good. I'm still using it. And what I do for this is I use this to dust my couch before I clean it off. Also, if you have a recliner and you have hard floors, you can use this to get underneath your recliner and get all those crevices if they're really hard to get to. So next up on my cleaning supply list, this is my OG item, which is my microfiber Oceder Spin Mop. Um, it's super lightweight and easy. The heads on these can be washed, so it is washable for up to, like, so many times. You can use it up to a couple months at a time, and then you can buy new. I really love this. It's lightweight, easy. I wouldn't recommend this for huge houses with all wood floors, but it's great for floors like mine or small homes. Next up, I also have my Libman Ingold Broom. This is my favorite broom. It's just a very stiff bristled broom that really holds up. It's great for sweeping. This dustpan is awesome. It has grooves for teeth that helps you to clean this. And then also this cool little spot you can put your foot so you actually don't have to bend down. I know you guys always see me bend down, but this feature is on here if I want it. Next up is my Oceder Flip Mop. Um, now these, some I guess you're not supposed to use these wet, but I actually do, and I wash them because they are washable, which is ironic. But anyways, I use this to clean my walls. This is a great duster as well as a great way to wet clean your walls as well. This is also good if you want to just dust up high. And I actually use this tool to clean behind my toilet as well. Now, this is new to my arsenal here, which is my Dyson V7 Animal. I have the accessories package. Now, I, I said that I really love this vacuum, and I will tell you guys all about it. And so I do really love this vacuum. It's super lightweight, easy, accessible, um, easily accessible. However, I would not recommend this vacuum for somebody with a big house because the battery does not last. That's the difference between this model and the newer models. Um, but for something small, it's definitely doable. I do want a second battery even for my small home because I feel like I need one. But overall, I do like that it's cordless. It does have a lot of power for being cordless. So I'm just going to throw some rice down here on the floor just to show you if you have hard surfaces how well it does clean. I do not feel like this vacuum is great for carpets though, at least this series. Um, I feel like a different vacuum would be better. But I love it here in our house. I just wish I had that second battery, which I'll acquire soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning inventories list with me this year in 2020. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!